In this video, I'm going to show you how to install tiles with a batten system. Battens can be made out of different things. The simplest of which is a one by two piece of wood that's installed on the roof. The idea behind battens is essentially installed perpendicular to the slope of the roof and the tiles actually hook onto this. It's really meant for tiles that are installed on roofs past 612, so 612 and steeper by code need battens and that's to make sure that they don't slide off. The reason I don't personally like battens is because you're stopping the direction of water you're stopping it by installing these battens. Now there are different battens on the market that do a better job. There are raised battens and synthetic battens. The issue with installing wood is that it rots and completely blocks the flow of water. If you're gonna use battens, I recommend using a raised batten system. Boral and I think Polystick and a few other companies make them where they raise off the deck of the roof to allow water to drain underneath. Regardless of what you use, the installation method is, is the same. You're going to be chalking lines, nailing back, and installing the tiles. Not much to it. It's really the pattern that matters. So just keep that in mind when you watch this video. Now to start installing battens, the first thing you're going to have to do, just like any other tile job, is chalk out your roof. Mark the lines where you want to have your battens installed. Now the calculations on this is a little bit different. For batten installations, you're marking the top of the batten. The way I like to do it, especially on our first row, is first of all, set the tile at the tile riser, the eave riser right here. So this groove is going to sit in the eave riser. So we've got that in the correct location. Now back here, every concrete tile has a little bit of lip. So I just place that on that lip right there. So I've got my eave in the correct location. I've also got my batten in the correct location. Now all I do is just make a mark on this side. This is gonna be the top of my batten. Now I'm gonna go on the other side of the roof and do the same thing. You can do all this using math too, but in my opinion, this is the easier and bulletproof way of doing it. So that's our first line. We're pretty much going to be going up the roof in the same pattern. Now we're not going to be using the same measurement. We're going to be using something else. So again, we're going to place this down. Before we continue, I'm going to place a sample tile down. Now again, if you watch my other videos, we explain how you want to measure out from the top of your roof all the way to the bottom to figure out your desired exposure. Every tile has a different exposure that it's allowed for. This tile is about 13 to 14 inches. So you want to divide up, make sure that you have nice even pieces. If not, you can offset the first one. Now we're going to use a 13 and a half inch exposure for this tile right here. All right, so we've got 13 and a half marked out. Now again, the same way what I'm going to do is lift up this tile, put the batten where it's supposed to be, and make a mark. Now I'm not going to do this on both sides because I've already got my measurement in place. All I'm going to do is measure from this chalk line to this mark right here and I've got a 13 and a half inch mark. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now if you have a pipe or a penetration or a vent, something like that, what you want to do is mark it on both sides. Then we'll discuss how we're going to cut this piece of short and how we're going to continue on this side. All right, now that we've got our lines chalked out, we're ready to start installing our battens. Now you can use a few different types of nails. Whatever you do, make sure that you use corrosion resistant nails. So whether it's electro galvanized or regular galvanized, doesn't matter as long as it's resistant to corrosion. Now batten strips come in different shapes. These ones are crooked and generally these battens are crooked. So what we want to do is align the first edge of it, nail that down. Now having two people on the job is a lot easier because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align. Now you can see here, up here we're not aligned. We, we can't see our red line. So what I'm going to do is pull the batten to align it and now we're ready to install. Again, I'm going to shift it, making sure it's aligned. You can see Marco did not nail on the flashing, which is the correct thing to do. You don't want to nail on the flashing, you want to nail on the ends. Now 
Now that we have our battens in place, again, you're gonna do all the batten installation prior to loading the tiles on the roof. It's gonna be a lot easier for you to work without having piles of tiles laid all around. All that's left to do is really just hook the tiles on. They're sitting on the battens, but it's as simple as that. You can put your nails in and you call it a day. So for this demonstration, I'm not gonna be putting any nails in, but really that's all it is. And for our second layer, again, same thing. We're just gonna be hooking the tile on. We're still gonna nail it. Of course, as always, we wanna make sure that we're at the center here, so I'm gonna measure out our center, and it's as simple as that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. We have a bunch of other videos for tile, flat tile roof installation tutorials. If we're missing something, let us know, and we'd like to fill it out for you. Thanks for watching.